video again trigonometry we are continuing trigonometry which comes in m1 for diploma students and uh, for other students also for iti students 10th standard 11th standard students also can use this now i request you once again to share comment like and subscribe my videos so that we can do better videos in the future now today i am going to continue with the next chapter that is trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios of well known angles well known angles say uh these five angles 0 degree 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree these five angles 1 2 3 4 5 5 these five angles in trigonometry are known as these five are known as well known angles well known angles and we are supposed to remember by heart the trigonometric ratios what are the trigonometric ratios sin cos tan cosecant secant and cot these are the six trigonometric ratios what is the value of sin 0 cos 0 tan 0 cosecant 0 secant 0 and cot 0 similarly sin 30 cos 30 tan 30 cosecant 30 similarly sin 45 cos 45 tan 45 etc sin 60 cos 60 so these values we are supposed to know by heart without referring the table or calculator we are supposed to know them now on this there will be a problem definitely for 9 scheme also for 15 scheme also this will come for 15 scheme also there will be a problem where they will say find the value of this without using either tab tables or calculator right it will be a 5 marks problem you can score 5 marks if you know this now we will take up first first i'll take up 0 degrees theta is equal to 0 degrees again i will go back to my triangle this was my triangle o p m a right angle triangle now this angle i had marked as theta when theta becomes zero when theta approaches zero or theta becomes zero what will happen is this triangle will become a straight line will become a straight line so p and m they get coinc they coincide with each other this side will disappear there will be no distance between p and m so pm will be out so pm will be zero and om will be same as op right so from this we will get the values of sin 0 cos 0 etc we know sin 0 is sin is opposite by hypotenuse pm by op here when sin is 0 pm becomes 0 So zero by op zero divided by anything is zero. So the value of sine zero is zero. Now cos zero, cos is opposite by uh, sorry adjacent by hypotenuse that is om by op. Om is same as op. So it is op by op that is one. So sine zero is zero. Cos zero is always one. These values we are supposed to remember. then if you know these two then you can get this tan 0 will be sin 0 by cos 0 this way also you can get or it is pm by om that way also you can get sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 0 by 1 is 0 any 0 divided by anything is 
Similarly, cosecant 0 will be 1 by sin 0, 1 by 0, anything divided by 0 is infinity. So, cosecant 0 is infinity, secant 0 is 1 by cos 0, that is 1 by 1, again it will be 1, cot 0 is cos 0 by sin 0, cos by sin, so cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0, so it will become infinity, anything divided by 0 will be infinity. So these are the values, sin 0, cos 0, tan 0, cosecant 0, secant 0, cot 0. Right, then next second one, we will move to the second one. In the second one, theta is 30 degree, now theta is 30 degree. Again, I will go back to my triangle, the right angle triangle. So now, this is my triangle, this is O, P, M. This is right angle. Now this is my theta and I have taken it as 30. If this is 90 and this is 30, this angle will be 60 degree. Now these two are in the ratio 1 is to 2, this is 1 that is 2 or this angle is double this. So this side, this side will be double of this. So if I take PM, length of PM as 1, length of OP will be 2. You can draw a triangle like this and measure these sides, you will find always OP will be twice PM. So if you take this as 1 this will be 2. Now, if you apply the Pythagoras theorem, I want this OM, OM square will be equal to OP square minus PM square, right? That is, square on this side will be equal to square on hypotenuse minus square on this because uh, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares on the other two sides. Now, this is 2 square minus 1 square that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 so OM will be equal to root of 3 so this will be root 3 this will be root 3 now again you have to write what is sin 30 sin 30 degree sin 30 degree is again by definition sin is opposite by PM by OP, opposite by hypotenuse, so 1 by 2, half, sin 30 is half, cos 30 is by definition adjacent by hypotenuse, so root 3 by 2, then tan 30 is opposite by adjacent, that way also it can be done or sin by cos, this way also 2, 2 will cancel, 1 by root 3, sin whatever way, it is either this way, 1 by root 3, or this divided by this, 2, 2 gets cancelled, it will be 1 by 3, cosecant 30 is 1 by sin 30, that is 2 by 1, or it is 2, secant 30 is reciprocal, 1 by this thing so this will be 2 by root 3 and cot 30 will be caused by this 2 2 will get cancelled root 3 by 1 or it is root 3 this way root 3 by 1 that means root 3 by 1 means root 3 only so these are the six values sin 30 cos 30 tan 30 cosecant 30 secant 30 and cot 30 next I will take theta is equal to 60 degrees, third one, when theta is 60 degrees, what is going to happen? Again I will take the same triangle, uh, sorry, theta is 45 degrees, I have to take 45 degrees, theta is 
45 degree. So when theta becomes 45 degree, forty five degree this is O this is P this is M this is my theta this is forty five this is ninety so this should be forty five now these two are in the ratio one is to one so these two sides will be in the ratio one is to one now if you apply the Pythagoras theorem OP will be equal to root two one square plus one square under root so that will be one plus one under root one uh, root two. So now again sine forty five, sine forty five degree, P M by O P. Opposite by this one by root two. Cos forty five is O M by O P. That is also one by root two. Then tan forty five is this by this. That is one. 1 by 1 that is 1 then cosecant 45 is reciprocal of this that is root 2 by 1 or it is root 2 secant 45 is 1 by cos 45 again that is also root 2 by 1 or root 2 and cot 45 is reciprocal of tan or this divided by that again that is also equal to 1 so these are the six ratios of 45 degree, six trigonometric ratios of 45 degree. Then we move to the fourth one that is theta is equal to 60 degree now. Theta is equal to 60 degree. Now what happens? When theta is 60 degrees, This is O, this is P, this is M, this is theta, this is 60, this is 90, so this should be 30. They are in the ratio 1 is to 2, so this will be 1, this will be 2. That is, this side will be exactly double of OM. OP will be twice OM, so this becomes root 3. PM becomes root 3. So apply the definition sine for sine 60 degree PM by OP PM is root 3 by OP is 2 root 3 by 2 cos 60 adjacent by hypotenuse OM by OP that is 1 by root 2 sorry 1 by 1 by 2 1 by 2 tan 60 is opposite by adjacent or this divided by this 2 2 will get cancelled root 3 by 1 or that will be root 3 if you divide this by this cosecant 60 degree is 1 by sine that means it will become 2 by root 3 secant 60 will be 2 by 1 that is 2 and cot 60 will be the reciprocal of tan or this divided by that 2 2 gets cancelled 1 by root 3 1 by root 3. so these are the values of 60 degree when theta is 60 degree then the fifth one we we'll move to fifth one last one when theta is 90 degrees what will happen when theta is 90 degree when theta approaches 90 degree it will be like this this is O this is P this is M now what will happen is when theta becomes 90 degree this is our theta this will be a vertical straight line O M will be coinciding this is P so now what happens O M becomes 0 and PM will be same as OP. PM will be same as OP because it becomes a straight line. That becomes a straight line. So sine 90 
is opposite that is pm by op pm by op opposite by hypotenuse that is op by op both are same so it will be 1 always sin 90 is 1 cos 90 om by op om by op om is 0 by op 0 divided by anything is 0 once you get these two you will get the others also tan 90 this by this 1 by 0 that is infinity tan 90 is infinity now cosecant 90 cosecant 90 is 1 by sine 1 by 1 that is again 1 secant 90 will be 1 by cos that is 1 by 0 that will be infinity and cot 90 will be equal to 1 by infinity or <coughs> or 1 0 by 1 cos by sine so that will be 0 so these are the 6 values of 90 degrees 6 trigonometric ratios values of trigonometric ratios when theta is 90 degrees so I hope you have understood this now this is little difficult to remember because 5 into 6 there are 30 values there are 30 values to be remembered so to make our job easy what we do is we use a table this table can be drawn in your answer book in rough work in your rough work you can draw it so theta is equal to first is 0 0 degree second one is 30 degree third one is 45 degree fourth one is 60 degree fifth one is 90 degree make a table like this in rough work in your answer booklet you can prepare it so sin theta cos theta write like this sin and cos now for sine 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For cos 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Come like this. For sine go like this. English for cos Arabic. Come like this. Then everything divided by 4. You put everything divided by 4. Then put square root for everything. This is one way of remembering it. Or you put 2 here. For everything you put 2. And put the square root only for the numerator. Numerators. All numerators. Or put the square root for both numerator and denominator. Then you have to put 4 here. Now from this table you can pick the values of any angle you can pick the values of sin and cos if you know sin and cos then you can get tan cosecant secant and cot easily because you know the relationship that sin by cos is tan 1 by sin is cosec 1 by cos is secant and cos by sin is cot so you can get that so in this you will get a definite problem will get you will get both in 9 scheme paper as well as 15 scheme paper now I am going to do a few problems here a few problems here and then one more video will make in which we can have a few more problems now <coughs> I hope you have understood it if you make this table it is easier it becomes easy for you to do it
total this is 15 SC 01 M. I'm taking 15 scheme. Section B. Section B. Problem number 7. And it is for 5 marks. It is for 5 marks. Right? This problem is for 5 marks. He says, prove that, prove that, sin square pi by 4, sin square pi by 4, plus sin square 3 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, plus sin square 5 pi by 4. I think this doesn't come here. This doesn't come here. Will not take this. No, to do this, we require little more knowledge. We will not do this. We will take problems from nine papers. Nine papers only. Little more knowledge is required. We will take up 9SC01M only. Problems from 9SC01M only we will take. <coughs> Section C. Uh, this is April May 2018. April May 2018. Section C. Problem number 26. 26 problem. Show that. Show that sine 45 degree. 45 degree. Cos 45 degree, cos 45 degree into tan 45 degree, tan 45 degree plus cot 45 degree, the whole square is equal to 2, is equal to 2. A simple problem, 5 marks for this. It is in 9 scheme. I think 15 students have done it already in their earlier classes. That is in 10. They have done it. Anyway, this is the problem. So now, again try make a table. Sine 45 is 1 by root 2. Left hand side is equal to. Sine 45 is 1 by 2. Cos 45 is also 1 by root 2. Oh, sorry. Uh, 1 by root 2 plus uh, multiplied by tan 45 is 1 plus cot 45 is also 1 tan 45 is 1 cot 45 is also 1 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 this is also 1 by root 2 so this will be equal to 1 by 2 root 2 into root 2 is 2 because root 2 square it becomes that is root 4 root of 4 is 2 into 2 square 1 plus 1 is 2 2 square half into 4 so 2 ones are 2 twos are 1 into 2 is 2 that is the right answer so this will fetch you 5 marks only if you must remember the values of those angles what is sine 45, what is cos 45, what is tan 45, what is cot 45, if you remember, you will get 5 marks. Right. Next, next problem. This is November, December 17, 
नवंबर डिसंबर सेवेंटीन नवंबर डिसंबर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स अगेन ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेक्शन सी सेक्शन सी ओनली सेक्शन सी प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टू टैन स्क्वायर थर्टी डिग्री टू टैन स्क्वायर थर्टी डिग्री प्लस फाइव साइन स्क्वायर सिक्सटी डिग्री साइन स्क्वायर सिक्सटी डिग्री माइनस सिक्स सीकेंड स्क्वायर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री find the value of this without using tables or calculator without using tables or calculator find the value of this he says so take it two will be two only tan 30 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 the whole square plus 5 into sin square 60 sin 60 is Sin sixty is root three by two, the whole square minus six into secant forty five. Secant forty five is root two because cos forty five is one by root two, so secant forty five will be root two square. Now two into one by root three whole square means it will be one by three. One by three plus five into root three by two whole square means it will be three by four. Root three square is three. Two square is four. Minus six into root two square is two. So it becomes two by three plus fifteen by four minus twelve. Now after that it is arithmetic, simple arithmetic addition and subtraction. You have to take the LCM. LCM there is twelve. LCM of three and four is twelve. So three fours are twelve. Three fours are twelve. Four twos are eight. Plus four threes are twelve. Three fifteens are forty-five. Here nothing is there in the denominator. That means you have to take it as one. So twelve times. Minus twelve twelve is one forty four. So eight plus forty five is fifty three. Minus one forty four divided by twelve. So it will be minus is bigger here. Plus is smaller. So minus one forty four minus fifty three. Four minus three is one. Fourteen minus five is nine. Ninety one by twelve. Minus ninety one by twelve. That is the answer. You cannot further simplify it. You can leave it like that. That is the value of this function, this trigonometric function. The value of that is minus ninety one by twelve. Five marks.